Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today I'm going to answer probably one of the most popular questions, and I have no idea why. I mean, I kind of understand why, but it seems like an odd one. Am I too old for quant finance? So I get asked this a lot, and I get it in emails, in YouTube comments, in LinkedIn messages. People keep saying, Dimitri, I am, you know, 30 years old, 35 years old. Uh, I want to be a quant and work in quantitative finance. Should I go into quant finance or am I too old for this, right? I'm already, you know, 30, 35 years old and I want to go into quant finance. I'm going to have to get a master's degree, as you've pointed out. And perhaps you're going to do some self-studying and a bunch of other work just to get to that master's degree or PhD, then do the work. And then you might be, you know, 35 to 40 when you graduate. So the short answer is no, it's not an age-biased field here. So I've seen quants at all ranges across my career here that have been in their 50s at more of a junior level, and I've seen those in their 50s more at a senior level. Now, why does that matter? We don't really care how old you are. In quant finance, is probably one of those really odd places where it doesn't matter because a lot of people with PhDs, so let's do the math here for the U.S., uh, you're 18 when you graduate high school, you do a four-year degree, you're 19, 20, 21, 22 when you graduate. Then if you do a, an actual PhD, which is five to seven years in the U.S., you skip the master's, you jump straight to the PhD. You're going to be 27 on the young side. So you're going to be about 30 with a PhD, 25 to 30. Like if you just run through this straight one shot. So you're going to have people that are just older in general. And even if you start at like, say, I don't know, say my age, 33, and you went and got a master's, now you're 35. You're really not that different from the crowd that we're getting to start with. The other piece here is quant finance is really just focused on skills. We don't have as many of the weird niche, like, I don't know, highfalutin priority of, oh, you went to Columbia or, oh, you went to NYU or you went to, I don't know, Berkeley or somewhere. Quants want people with really, really good skills. And yes, we do consider where you went to school because that's a, that helps indicate quality with the candidate. But that being said, I've looked at people from universities I've never heard of. And yet the resume comes through, it has the skills. Okay, I go, wow, it's kind of an odd school. Maybe I'll ask some questions about why they went there and whatnot. And then I keep going through this. So age, I don't think really has a bearing in quant finance. You could start when you're quite old. You could do it when you're younger. You could even probably transition if you're in your, I don't know, late 40s. And you say, hey, I already have all the skills for it. Maybe I have a master's degrees and I've worked in somewhere, I don't know, tech or something for a long time. And I want to switch over. It would be an easy kind of switch to do that here. Now, the question I'm going to ask you guys to think about if you're in that situation is, like, why do you want to go into quant finance, right? Like, I'm guessing you probably already have another career or you've started something else. There are a lot of good reasons on why you would do that. Maybe you just find it really interesting. Maybe your career is a little bit boring. Maybe you spent the last, I don't know, five, 10 years getting a green card and coming to the US, right? These are all valid reasons here. Those that think, though, like, oh, I have this really crappy career and education and I hate what I do and I'm a really negative person in itself and I don't like doing what I want to do. So I want to make a bunch of money and be really happy and successful. So I'm going to jump into quant finance and make all this money. Don't do not do it. Don't do the jump. It, the reason I say this is you need to improve on who you are as a person first. And I get this from a lot of different individuals where it's like they're mad, they're grumpy, they're upset at the world and they think the world's unfair. And yet you need to start self-reflecting on why. Like, why is this is a per you have a personal problem, not an industry problem. Like I could put you into one of these jobs like magically if I could like pick you up, make you qualified and put you in. And uh, it's not going to make you like super happy because you make a little bit more money and you're going to hate the colleagues. You're going to hate the people. You're going to hate the education. You're going to feel like you sacrificed your entire life switching careers, doing a master's degree and spending a bunch of money on it, especially here in the U.S. So really dig deep, really think about why you want to make the switch. There are a lot of great reasons as I've mentioned out there. And maybe it's just something you find super fascinating and you want to do something a little bit different. You know, awesome, all power to you. And I think that's a great reason to do it. But realize it's going to take the education and gaining all these skills. It's going to take some time to get there. And of course, you're going to start most likely on the bottom rung, regardless of how old you are, because we don't really care what age, it's about skills. And you're going to be progressing your way up through this career here. So again, don't do it for the compensation. Don't do it because you're bitter about yourself. I see a lot of people in this kind of situation, both young and old. But if you're going to switch, it's definitely possible. We don't really care about the age of you. We just want really fun and exciting people that love quant finance and quant skills like math, stats, computer science, and finance. So anyways, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time.